Okay, we got a new micro drone in here from SPC Maker, and this one is the K1. So these are they have a new uh, two inch K1 and a K2 that are um, HD recording. They have the new split mini uh, V2 in them, so it's going to be pretty compact and only one extra board in the stack. Uh, 1105 6000 kV motors, and it looks like it's a yeah, two to three S here with it a four flight controller. Okay, so this is what you get in the box. Uh, you get the Yvonne Blur props. They looks like only one set of these. They're the two inch props from Emacs. Get a battery strap. Get some prop guards. So if you want to do some slow flights in like some tight spaces, I think you can do this without getting the prop guards or the props in view. Got some M2 screws for the props and we got some stickers. Okay, so here's a look at the drone. Got a single stack there, 4 and 1 AC, got your split mini board, uh, you got your F4 flight controller and your video transmitter, and th this one's a FlySky version, so you got a, I think that's probably RX 2A Pro micro receiver in there for FlySky. Comes in uh, FreeSky and Spectrum versions as well. Uh, SBC Maker branded motors, 1105, 6000 KV. These look like the uh, BBB motors, these are probably one of my uh, favorite motors for two and a half inch. I've never really tried this motor on a two inch, but ought to be just fine on 3S. I think uh, this will be fine on 3S. You can probably fly it on 2S as well. Uh, yeah, the this is the K1. The K2 is a little bit different. I think it has a dual stack option. It's a little bit longer. Uh, obviously a different frame on that design, but that one hasn't come out yet, but I should be getting that pretty soon. And you can see here where the camera lens is and where the motors are. Uh, it's, it's a little bit swept back, so it should be no props in the view of the HD video. So you could probably fly this in some tight spaces, uh, slow, and get some nice little HD footage of this. So it should be pretty fun to fly. I'll get some uh, review video for you pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Okay, you got a bunch of new stuff here from Banggood. Uh, start off here with the, the FreeSky product. Uh, what is this? Uh, the XSR SIM. It's a little USB dongle, and it It'll actually act as a XSR receiver, so you can plug this into your computer, and then you can wirelessly, obviously, connect to this via your transmitter, FreeSky transmitter, and um, don't have to use any cables or anything for using a simulator. So it'll show up as I think it's a joystick or something like that. But yeah, you know, I'll have a review on this one. Uh, this will be pretty fun to get some more practice, and I think uh, I have a Velociraptor now, so I'll show you a little bit of that later. Okay, so this is a uh, basic um, F4 flight controller PDB board, and it does come with these little rubber grommets for vibration dampening. These are M4 holes. Obviously, a four, uh, this is, I guess you could use a 400 EC, but I think these are meant for uh, individual ESCs. You got the little tabs here for your power connections for the ESC, battery lead here, F4 CPU. I think this is an MPU 6000, so 8K gyro, uh, beautiful light OSD. And it doesn't look like anything labeled on this side of the board. Looks like all the pinouts are labeled on this side. So probably put this into a pretty inexpensive uh, build I'm looking at. Um, I believe this is only like $21 or $22 for this flight controller PDB. So if you're looking to build something kind of, you know, low profile, don't need a, want to get rid of a PDB and just have one board, this is probably something to look at. Oh, it has a current sensor as well. So. Pretty inexpensive option if you want to check this one out. Okay, so these are the new DYS Aria 40 amp ESCs. I think these are the uh, yeah the very skinny ones. So very very skinny. Uh, I'll have, I'm not exactly sure how wide they are, but check the description. I'll have a review on this as well. A little heat shrink on here. But yeah, if you're got want to put this on, if you want to use individual ESCs on some frame that has some skinnier arms, uh, this could be an option instead of using a 4-in-1 ESC. Okay, so this is a 30 by 30 4-in-1 uh, ESC, the Dow RC engine, 40 amps, uh, uh, 32 bits, and uh, D-Shot 1200 capable. And here's just a quick look at it. It looks like you get some dampeners as well, and you get a low ESR capacitor. There's a giant heat sink on here, so not really sure what's underneath there. Nice big solder pads. Looks like the bottom here has some sort of coating on there, probably for waterproofing. So this one looks like a pretty nice look looking product. Looks like you can use some pins here for connecting, uh, either there or on this uh, traditional JST pin header to 
connect to your flight controller. So if you're looking for a 32-bit 40 m 4 and AC, this one you might want to check out. I uh, will do a review on this one a little bit later. Okay, a couple of the Mamba stacks here from Diatone. Uh, this one here is the 30 by 30 stack, the F4 power tower. So it's got 4 in ESC, 3 to 6S, and 40 amps bursting at 50 amps. Uh, it's only D-Shot 600, so it's a BLLE SESC. F4 flight controller, uh, AK gyro, it's got uh, black box data, beta flight OSD, and 5 volt BEC. So this is just the uh, 4 in ESC and the flight controller only, no video transmitter. So it's a two board system, already comes assembled with all the standoffs attached already and wireline was already plugged in. So it's a nice little like, you know, uh, product here, you can just get it, uh, you know, basically put into your, into your frame. Obviously the solder pads are a little bit kind of inconvenient to get to, they're not really sticking out. You know, it looks like the um, solder pads are a little bit hard to get to. I could probably get to them from underneath, looks like the, there's ones here and then also on the bottom. So uh, you probably need to take the flight controller off to wire up your motors. They're a little bit inconvenient to get to. But yeah, it's a pretty nice uh, flight controller. You've already seen this in uh, the uh, GT Tyrant. And so that's a 6S setup. No problems handling the beefy motors on that one. Uh, but yeah, I'll just do a, another video just to cover all the connection points and all that you see here in a little bit more detail in that video if you guys are interested. Okay, so this one here is the Mamba F4 Mini Power Tower. So this is uh, one you've also seen as well. Uh, 25 amp 400 ESC. Uh, so it's 20 amps bursting to 25 amps. Uh, only 2 to 4 S. 8K gyro. It's got black box data. Uh, D-Shot 600. So it's a uh, BLLE S ESC. Uh, you've seen this in the uh, M2, M2.5. The Most of the recent micros from Diatone. But of course that one comes with the uh, video transmitter, I think of the um, TBS Unify. This is just the flight controller and the 400 AC, and you can see that it's got all the vibration dampening already there. Uh, again, this one also looks like the solder pads are kind of hard to get to, but probably easier to get to them from the bottom. Doesn't look like it comes with an XD30 or XD60, so it's something you have to supply yourself. But the stack already comes uh, assembled. Nothing is labeled here. So you got to, I think there's some documentation inside here that will, will give you the, uh, the pads and what they are. But it's, uh, I've actually wired this up before and it's something else and it's not that difficult to wire up. But the pads are pretty small so you'll need some good soldering skills. Okay, this is the uh, new iCharger X6. This is a pretty popular new smart charger that's out there now. If you uh, have like an ISDT uh, smart charger, then this is going to be probably pretty familiar, but I think it has some different features and it looks like it's a different size. Okay, so you get this CD in here. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, you get some power connectors here, some XD60s. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that's for either. Probably for connect to a power supply. Okay, so here's a look at the charger itself. Uh, pretty reflective screen there. Uh, okay, here's your power output here on XD60. A little servo connector there, not sure what that's for. SD card, micro SD card slot, interesting. Balance port there, maybe that's for uh, firmware updates. And then your power input here, 7 and 32 volts, and you got a micro uh, USB port here, and that's interesting. I'm not sure what that's for. Looks like you got a little dial here. And uh, you can push that in as well. A little fan, so this is probably for your selector. You know, looks like this is a little stand, it would seem like. Um, yeah, I'll have a video on this one. This looks like it's really nice. I uh, don't have any information spec-wise. It doesn't look like there's anything on here. I'll have to check that out. And I'll give you a review video with all the details in that. Okay, this is the uh, Owlet uh, 145 3-inch frame. And it's kind of hard to see, but basically I think that they cloned a frame that I've seen somewhere um, on the brushless micro forums. But I think they kind of screwed up and the arms are supposed to be more parallel here where the camera so that the props don't get in view. So let's see if this actually has the props in view. And if that's, if that's the case, they cloned this frame that, they cloned a frame that where it was designed for props not to be in view. And if, they, if the props are in view and this clone, that's a complete fail. Um, but it looks like it's pretty strong. This 3mm bottom plate will take uh, 12 or 9mm motors, I believe. So I think this is a pretty beefy frame. Probably going to 
use some bigger motors in this one. I think it's for bottom mounted batteries, but yeah, it's designed for like the Split Mini Turtle, you know, uh, Caddx Turtle for HD recording if you want to get uh, props out of you and uh, want to fly on a three inch setup. So I have a, a frame review video on this one a little bit later and we'll see if uh, the uh, props are in the view of the video on that one. Okay, so I got in the uh, Full Speed Leader 2.5 uh, SC. This is from Banggood, so it only comes in the plug and play version. Okay, so pretty minimal, not much in the box. You get a battery strap. You get this kind of a prop here. This is a, a King Kong 2.5 inch prop. And uh, yeah, it's a two and a half inch frame. It has the Caddx uh, uh, F2 micro camera. I believe the stack of motors here are different from the three inch version. This one here has the, I think 1106 motors. Yeah, 1106, 7500 KV. And this is probably gonna be like a 3S Max setup. Uh, I think that also, this is an F3, not an F4. I think the video transmitter and the ESC is the same. It's got the, I think the canopy is pretty similar. Canopy and uh, the frame that holds the camera, I think it's pretty similar to the three inch. I'll have a video and compare it to the three inch version down the road and obviously give you um, a flight review of this as well. Okay, so I got some new stuff in here from Fox Ear. This is the new Dal Cyclone T5249C propeller. So I think it's a 5.2 inch three bladed prop. New design here, so probably do some sort of video in the near future on this new, new propeller. Okay, so this is uh, the new uh, Lollipop 2 antenna with the MMCX connector. And this one's in black. Okay, so just a quick look at it. And uh, yeah, it's the new version 2 with the MMCX connector. Pretty standard stuff here. Okay, so I got in the new uh, Falkor micro camera. This and I think it's in two versions, a white and a black one. Okay, so yeah, this is the micro version of the Falcor. I've already done uh, reviews on the full version and the uh, mini version. So uh, it's the same board, same sensor. They just put a, a different, uh, the micro case on here with the M8 lens. So the image is going to be a little bit different with the M8 lens, a little bit smaller lens. So these are both, I think, 1.8 millimeter. So I'm going to have the same field of view. I think the only difference between these two is the color. So I'll have a quick uh, video review on this one with, of course, my standard... Uh, flight, FPV flight for footage, and you can compare this to all, all of the rest of the cameras that I've done reviews on. Okay, got a couple of new stacks in here from AirBot. Uh, Typhoon 32 ESCs, I think they're 32 ESCs. One has an F7 flight controller, this other one has an F4 flight controller. Okay, we'll take a look at the uh, F7 first. Very nice solder pads on this one. And uh, you can see here it's got a separate gyro. I'm not sure if it's a dual gyro or not, it might be. I think the ESCs are the same on both these, the Typhoon 32's individual uh, current sensor on each ESC. And yeah, this is a very nice uh, stack here. Already pre-connected it looks like, or no, actually it does not. You have to use a little wiring loom that's included here, plug it over here and over here. And there's also this uh, ribbon cable as well. Maybe that's, that's another way of connecting the two. So let's see, we'll take a look at the instructions. And here's the manual for the ESC, uh, three to six S32 bit. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a 40 amp or what. Uh, check the description for the link. I'm sure there's more information on the product page. And just a quick look at the uh, F7 flight controller. Obviously this one can do 32K, 32K probably. Also 3 to 6S. Okay, so this is the uh, Omnibus F4 flight controller. And I think the, yeah, the EC is the same. The Typhoon 32 individual current sensors. And again, you have the wiring loom that connects the two boards. I think the other way we're doing it is a ribbon cable. That's also included. Very nice solder pads. Yeah, I'll have a video on this. I think this one here you can also add on a a separate gyro. Uh, if you don't want to use the onboard MPU 6000, I think you could do a 32K gyro as an add-on, but that's obviously not included in the package. And you, you guys have seen this stack already in action on the uh, Comet uh, bind and fly from Hobbymate. They actually are using this exact same stack from Airbot, the F4 flight controller and the uh, 400 ESC. It's a very nice stack, very clean video, very good power from the ESC. So. Uh, I'll actually do a separate video, talk about it a little bit more, uh, and we'll show you some more flight footage. Okay, so I got a big box here with another RC truck. This one's a uh, one-tenth scale crawler, looks like. Uh, Four-wheel drive, 
This one is from Remo Hobby. And yeah, it looks like it's this box is pretty huge. So this ought to be pretty interesting. I've uh, never had this one uh, crawler this big, so this will be interesting. Not meant for speed, it's meant for going over rocks and stuff, so it should be kind of fun reviewing this one. So I'll have a video on this one pretty soon, so stay tuned. Okay, so this uh, 116 scale drift car uh, just arrived. It's, uh, I think it's a replica of a Nissan, yeah, it's a Nissan GTR. And the box is pretty banged up, but it looks like the car is okay. Yeah, 116 size. It's got some nice wheels there. Obviously, it's for drifting. I've never done any of that kind of stuff before, so I'll have to figure it out. Probably do this in the garage. I think these are yeah, spare wheels. The wheels are already on there. So, yeah, I'll have a uh, video on this guy in action pretty soon. Okay, so for those of you guys that saw my last uh, helicopter video, it told me to get a uh, collective pitch uh, heli. This is my first one. I haven't had one of these before. This is a model I think has been out for a little while. I think it uh, was out of production and I think it came back into production. It's the uh, uh, scale of replica of the EC Eurocopter 145. It's from XK. The, the model is the K124. Uh, yeah, it, has a, it comes ready to fly with uh, a radio here. It uses the Futaba SFHSS uh, protocol. So. I might be able to bind this to my jumper radio, perhaps, with using the multi-protocol module. But yes, it's a you know, tiny uh, size here. Brushless motor, I think it's a 1S only. Uh, has a 6S, 6 axis gyro for like a sort of beginner mode. And of course, it's just 3D with the collective pitch. You can flip it over and fly it inverted and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've never done that before, so I'll have, to, I'll have to learn it. As a, a total beginner, I've never flown collective pitch helicopters before. So if you want to see a beginner figure this out, uh, those videos might be interesting. Okay, so I got a new uh, 6S LiPo here from iFlight RC. Uh, this is from the new line that's called the Full Send. This is a 6S 1050 milliamp hour 99C battery. And the dimensions look pretty decent, not too outrageous. XD60 connector is a little on the short side. The balance is pretty short, but uh, if you want less wires, this is probably the battery you want to check out, but yeah. I'll have a video on this one here. I'm obviously have to test this out. Let's see what this is like. Uh, 99C 6S 1050. It's probably the size I think you're going to want uh, for your 6S 5-inch uh, drones. Okay, got another product in here from Dal RC. This is the F722 Dual Flight Controller. Yeah, I think this one has two gyros. It has an MPU 6000 and an ICM 2602. I think that one is actually the good uh, 32K gyro. Okay, so not a lot here. You got uh, the flight controller itself. You got some rubber grommets for vibration dampening, wiring loom. That's going to go to your 400 EC. So I'm going to uh, pair this up with the Dell RC engine that I got uh, in the uh, previous section of this video that you saw. Probably have a combo video with this uh, together in a review. So if you want a little closer look at this and what it does, uh, stay tuned for that video.